नमस्कार इंडिया मेटोलॉजिकल डिपार्टमेंट वेलकम यू इन डेली वेदर ब्रीफिंग सो द यस्टरडेज लो प्रेशर एरिया हैज बिकम लेस मार्क्ड एंड ए फ्रेश लो प्रेशर एरिया इज लाइकली टू फॉर्म ओवर वेस्ट सेंट्रल एट जॉइनिंग नॉर्थ वेस्ट बे ऑफ बंगाल अलॉन्ग एंड ऑफ नॉर्थ सी एपी एंड साउथ उड़ीसा कोस्ट बाई टूमोरो सो अंडर द इन्फ्लुएंस ऑफ द रेमनेंट साइसर ऑफ द लो प्रेशर एरिया ओवर सदर्न पार्ट ऑफ राजस्थान देर इज लाइवलीहुड ऑफ हैवी टू वेरी हैवी रेनफॉल एक्टिविटी ओवर राजस्थान स्पेशली ओवर सदर्न पार्ट ऑफ ईस्ट राजस्थान एंड मॉडरेट टू हैवी रेनफॉल एक्टिविटी इज लाइकली ओवर हरियाणा चंडीगढ़ डेली एंड द एडजॉइनिंग एरियाज ऑफ वेस्ट यूपी एंड फुट हिल्स ऑफ उत्तराखंड ड्यूरिंग नेक्स्ट फोर्टी एट आवर्स एंड ऑल्सो द रेनफॉल एक्टिविटी इज लाइकली टू बी हैवी टू वेरी हैवी ओवर द नॉर्थ पेनसुलर इंडिया स्पेशली ओवर कोस्टल आंध्र प्रदेश तेलंगाना साउथ छत्तीसगढ़ एंड उड़ीसा ड्यूरिंग नेक्स्ट थ्री टू फोर डेज अंडर द इन्फ्लुएंस ऑफ लाइकली फॉर्मेशन ऑफ अ लो प्रेशर एरिया by tomorrow so if we look into the observed weather uh, during past 24 hours ending at 8:30 hours ist of today so we can see that over telangana very heavy rain help, rainfall has been observed over the siddipet districts and the and the district of uh, nizamabad and uh, kota gudam and also uh, very heavy rainfall activity has been observed over hat bay of andaman and nicobar islands and also over बाड़मेर एंड भीलवाड़ा डिस्ट्रिक्ट्स ऑफ राजस्थान वेरी हैवी रेनफॉल एक्टिविटी हैज बीन ऑब्जर्व सो टुडे द लो प्रेशर एरिया हैज बिकम लेस मार्क्ड एज वी कैन सी ओवर हियर बट द रेमनेंट साइसर इज देयर ओवर दिस सेंट्रल पार्ट्स ऑफ साउथ राजस्थान एंड दिस रेमनेंट साइसर इज एक्सटेंडिंग अप टू मिडिल ट्रोपोस्फेरिक लेवल्स एंड ड्यू टू दिस द वी कैन सी ओवर हियर दैट द जोन ऑफ दिस एंटायर राजस्थान हरियाणा एंड वेस्ट यूपी इज क्वाइट एक्टिव वी कैन सी ओवर हियर द इंटेंट Uh, cloud convection and uh, uh, this is happening that the due to the fact that the uh, this monsoon trough is uh, slightly is gradually shifting northwards towards its uh, normal position so that during next uh, 48 hours that is up till tomorrow the rainfall activity there would be rainfall activity over uh, uh, delhi ncr region moderate to heavy rainfall activity is expected uh, uh, especially over delhi moderate rainfall is expected that is up to 5 to 6 cm rainfall is expected today as well as uh, Uh, tomorrow as we can see over here that currently over delhi uh, intense uh, uh, cloud convection can be seen and the rainfall activity is occurring over uh, uh, these uh, radar pictures are showing that the the belt of uh, clouds is uh, moving uh, from south to northward and uh, uh, swapping all across uh, delhi and uh, gurugram region and also over faridabad we can see the intense cloud convection so Uh, today and tomorrow moderate uh, rainfall activity is uh, likely over delhi and uh, thereafter the rainfall activity would slow down and only light uh, very light to light rainfall is likely during subsequent 2 to 3 days so under the influence of this moderate rainfall activity over delhi and moderate to heavy over the uh, adjoining ncr region uh, minor traffic disruption on roads increased chance of vehicle accidents water accumulation in the low lying areas uh, is expected today as well as tomorrow and uh, therefore uh, general public is requested to for checking the traffic congestion on the route and uh, before leaving for the destination and also uh, the public is requested to follow the traffic advisories and uh, avoid going uh, to the areas that are facing water logging already so uh, now if we come over to the uh, subdivision wise rainfall activity so uh, heavy to very heavy rainfall activity as we can see over here that over southern parts of rajasthan uh, very heavy rainfall activity is uh, likely during next 24 hours and also the Uh, regions of Haryana, West UP, Himachal, Uttarakhand uh, may experience uh, heavy rainfall activity, and Gujarat region very heavy rainfall activity is expected. And also over Andhra Pradesh and Telangana, uh, especially coastal Andhra Pradesh and Telangana, very heavy rainfall activity is likely with light to moderate rainfall at most places. And also South Chhattisgarh, South Odisha are likely to receive uh, isolated heavy rainfall. And then uh, tomorrow again, this uh, very heavy rainfall activity would continue over. Uh, coastal andhra pradesh and telangana because of the fact that uh, the today's uh, cyclonic circulation over north coastal uh, andhra pradesh and neverhood is uh, likely to uh, become a low uh, uh, is likely to become a low pressure area by tomorrow and thereafter as we can see over this entire north peninsular india uh, especially over uh, uh, andhra pradesh coastal andhra pradesh telangana south chhattisgarh and odisha the heavy rainfall activity would continue till 8th of uh, september as this low pressure area 
are we are not expecting it to move across the peninsular india and we are expecting it to to uh, move uh, almost north north eastwards across the uh, across the east coast that is across the north uh, coastal andhra pradesh and uh, odisha coast during next uh, 3 to 4 days so if we look into the gujarat uh, district wise rainfall warning so today there is uh, likelihood of very heavy rainfall activity over banas kantha and patan districts and uh, over other districts adjoining districts of uh, south rajasthan that is uh, over uh, sabarkantha over mahesana and all these districts uh, dahod etc and and kutch and morbi also heavy rainfall activity is likely and also over the districts of valsad and navsari surat uh, these districts are also likely to receive uh, uh, isolated heavy rainfall and uh, thereafter from uh, day after tomorrow that is on 6th of uh, september uh, this uh, very heavy rainfall activity would uh, in fact uh, reduce and only isolated heavy rainfall activities likely over Kutch, Patan, Banaskantha, Savarkantha and Mahesana districts. So uh, that was all about uh, Gujarat and then if we come over to the sea areas, so uh, here we can see as the circulation is there over uh, west central adjoining northwest bay of Bengal uh, uh, along and off uh, uh, coastal Andhra Pradesh, north coastal Andhra Pradesh. So uh, we can see over here that the winds of the order of 35 to 45 kmph gusting to uh, 55 kmph is prevailing over southwest and west central bay of bengal and this wind speed is likely to increase by tomorrow and become uh, 45 to 55 uh, gusting to 65 kmph and would uh, persist of the same order uh, on 6th 7th and 8th of uh, September uh, over the central Bay of Bengal and adjoining parts of south Bay of Bengal and uh, similarly the uh, region of uh, squally winds over the area of uh, west central and and southwest Arabian Sea would continue uh, for the wind speed of 45 to 55 kmph gusting to 60 65 kmph during next five days so that's all for today tomorrow we will again meet with delhi weather briefing for weather warning during next five days thank you and goodbye